Welcome back, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. It's been a nice day so far, but the clouds are starting to build in a little bit out there, and you can tell that we've got a little more moisture moving in. We do have the chance to see some showers and thunderstorms around sundown and after. So just because we've had a pretty quiet day doesn't mean we're not going to have an active night. We've actually got a disturbance. It's going to move through, so get ready for some storms in the next few hours. Temperatures right now are in the 70s, 80s, feeling like summer out there today. So again, we've got the energy for some of these storms to work with as they get going. Check this video out. This is actually sent in from a personal friend of mine, Micah Bailey. He lives up in Franklin, West Virginia, which is just outside of the WVVA viewing area up in Pendleton County. And this was the hail coming down and the storms up there to our north. And this is relevant because this is the exact same system that will be plowing through here tonight. So that could definitely happen here. Some hail, gusty winds, heavy rain. The uptick in precipitation really expected after 7, 8 o'clock this evening through around midnight and then everything kind of drops off. But for those few hours, we'll have to be watching the radar really closely for anything strong to severe. Again, we've already had some storms uh, that were on the strong to severe side to our north. Some of them clipping Pocahontas County this afternoon. I've watched this line of severe storms just go on and on and on across the top of Pocahontas County where this frontal boundary again is sitting. So remember, as that drops eventually, so will this energy. So storms will be realized further south as the evening goes on again, especially once we get to around sundown and after. Out ahead of that incoming boundary, the National Weather Service has issued a severe thunderstorm watch for the majority of our area, with the exception of Buchanan County, running until 10 o'clock tonight. So again, really from now all the way until 10, 11 o'clock, we could see something strong to severe develop across our area. So if you're running out for dinner, if you've got yard work you're doing this evening, just make sure you have a way to receive severe weather alerts, have that WVVA weather app, have somebody keeping an eye on the television, on us, whatever you need to do. Because again, we are expecting things to get a little bit more active. And as far as threats go, the good news is we're not expecting any rotation or at least not a lot of it today. The tornado risk should stay pretty minimal. But hail, as I was just showing you, straight line winds, we're talking in excess of 50, 58 miles an hour, and isolated flooding, at least some torrential rain that could cause ponding on the roads, all of this possible through tonight. Our area is in a two out of five or a slight risk of severe weather through the rest of our Monday evening. And again, it's all because of this cold front that's just dipping through our area. Now tomorrow, it starts to pick back up and ride northward as a warm front. So this is going to bring us more showers and storms tomorrow afternoon. And we're going to stay warm and unsettled through the rest of the week. This larger frontal system here still will be making its way through the area late week. So pretty much each and every day we have the chance to see showers and storms. And any day we could see severe ones. So just pay attention if you're out and about the rest of this week because you're want to you're going to want to get out again. We've got these little blow ups of showers and storms this evening. We're quiet the rest of the night. And then tomorrow afternoon, same thing, just these scattered showers and storms. Otherwise, though, partly cloudy will be in the 70s, will be in the 80s. And it's just going to be really nice to get out and about in again, just have a way to watch that radar as we will be dodging some occasional rain really all the way through the end of the week. After that front system or frontal system finally gets through, we're cooler by this weekend and early next week. Ben. Thank you, Catherine. Now, today is tax day. And